Let's go. No. Quick! Quick! This is me going! Is this the best way? What do I do though? Well, get out of my way! Oh, you're gonna run over. Oh, you idiot. Never mind, you're good. <laughs> oh, that was epic! Oh my god, that was sick! Oh man, that's actually crazy. Well, um, that went as well as it could have, didn't it? I know you would have the opposite feeling for that. <laughs> Roxy's eyes. Right, should we do the upgrade now? I don't see why not. It shouldn't be too difficult. Ooh, wait a second. What the? I thought it was all over. Oh my god, I just saved it as well. She's coming at me with zero eyeballs. Holy, okay, um, what's the plan of action here? She's no, no, no. I thought I was done! Yeah, no, I knew it was too easy. Way too easy. Can I break this now? Oh, I can't. I need to make her run through it. Oh, I need to make her run through every piece. Alright, I get it now. So if you move... There we go. Let's get in here. Ooh. Can you even get under there? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she can actually kind of see. That's impressive. Which way are you coming from? Huh? Let me do this. Which way are you coming from? Which way are you coming from? You can't go under there. I'm running. I'm going. Ah! Ah! Did she make it through? Who's there? She did. Oh my god. No! Where am I? I don't even know where I am! Holy, I'm back at the... Oh, jeez, this is crazy! No, you don't. You don't, you don't hear me at all. Let me just cause another distraction. I can't even... <laughs> She's nuts! Don't cry. It's okay. Do not cry. It's absolutely fine. Can you go in here, please? In here. Yes! Did she go in the fire? Why is there fire? Why is there fire? What the heck? Oh my god, why is there fire? Can I even... No, she's got her eyes. She's got her eyes, you idiot. Guys, why is there fire? Why is there fire in here? Can I even run through it? I don't know what to do. Maybe she can... Oh wait, I can go over there. Wait! Oh, there is a full line of fire. This is actually crazy, dude. Fire, fire, fire. I need her to go here. Come on. It's calling you. I can't believe I tried to use the camera flash against a blind animatronic. I'm so dumb. What's she doing? Yeah, no. 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 Hey, that lag is out of order. Do not do that again. You can still hear me, but you can't see me. So, how is this going to work? I think I need to jump into here. Oh god. I still hear you. Oh god. Go the other way. No, why are you going that way? I need her to go the other way. 
I'm gonna get past this bit. There must be a gap at the end there. Right? There must be. She looks insane though. No! Not your fault. That kid is just lucky. I am not lucky. I am a trained spy. Wait, what did she just do? What did she just do? Oh, I'm going. Let's go. No. Quick! Quick! Ah! I made it! Oh, man, that was close. I pressed the wrong button. 5.40 a.m. Holy. Oh, we made it. We've seen two mangled up animatronics now. We had Monty from earlier. And now we have Roxy. Who was actually insane. Where are we? I have no idea where we are. Oh, we're at the raceway. Okay, let's get back to parts and servicing and get out of here. I don't know if she's going to come after me now. I actually have no idea. Let me get the camera out just in case. Not that that's going to do anything. Ooh, there's another bag here, actually. What you got for me this time? Re-theme. The bowling alley needs a re-theme. While well, most of the body art was removed, kids keep asking, where's Bonnie? Do you have officially approved response? What happens to Bonnie, huh? You can't keep it a secret forever. Ooh, there's another bag in here, too. Learning so many secrets today. Oh, there's a present as well. Let me read that in a second. I like me some gifts. Monty Balloon. A blue the blue power drain. We keep getting these brown outs. I'm sorry, what? So I got fed up and did a little investigation. It looks like something is drawing a massive amount of power from the work site. We traced a high voltage cable that disappears right into the foundation. There is definitely something under us. We're going to bore back into the foundation to find out what it is. Okay, so there's something on the ground that they're slowly discovering. I wonder what it's gonna be. I think it has something to do with Vanny, but I'm not 100% sure. That's gonna be my theory. I'm ready to replace your eyes now. Ocular upgrades. Preparing for upgrade procedure. There he is. You may now Hello, Freddy. Cylinder. How you doing, sir? I'm sorry if this is gonna hurt. <laughs> It shouldn't do. It should be painless. Let's begin and by fine. removing Freddy's face. Oh, good. Press Freddy's nose to remove skull housing. Should we boop? We're gonna boop. Click the nose to take it off. It gives you the randomness instruction cards. Boom. Carefully detach the ocular connectors. Okay. Oh, it's this again. I have to be so careful. Click on the eyes to take them out of Freddy's face. Can I do it first time? Come on, let's do it. I will. I will. Great. Plug the replacement eyes into the open eye sockets. I actually really like this bit. Click on the eyes to put them in Freddy's face. All right, then. I'm going to Reattach the ocular connector oh, no. wires. Oh, where's this one going to go? That's easy. It is time to close the faceplate. Yes! Oh, uh, why are you making me click in weird places, though? Commence testing. Oh, done it. The testing phase. I forgot about the testing phase. How are those eyes looking? Yep. Got it. Yes! No way, we 
the first time. Did we just get mad lucky with that one though? With the yellow being in like one after the other. Oh, let me use the machine, finish the upgrade. How are them new eyes? eyes. How are the peepers? Having a hard time adjusting. You look different to me. Ooh. I can see movement through the walls. Really? I didn't know Roxy could see through walls. That's not bad. These are Roxy's eyes? Uh, well, uh, um... Yeah. There was an accident in the raceway. Is she okay? Uh, well, nothing seems to stop her. True. Very true, right, Freddy? Quick. Roxy's eyes can see things no one else can. Good news. It is almost six o'clock. We almost that. You'll be safe now if you find an exit. But hurry, the daycare attendant is loose one last time. Oh wait, we're doing it now? We're doing it now. Wait, hold up. These eyes are amazing. Whoa. There are wondrous colors and objects I need to recharge with me. Nothing can hide from me now. Shush. I need to recharge. I can't recharge. Whoa, we can see everything. Use an exit to escape the pizza plex. Be warned, the recharge stations are online so they cannot protect you. I couldn't replenish my battery. This is unfair. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. 6 a.m. Where is the exit, though? I actually can't remember my way around this. Can we go back up? Well, oh, Freddy, we need to go back up. Let me press the button. Let me press the button. Well, oh, Freddy, we can't. Freddy, we can't press the button. Your eyes look amazing. That is not the task at hand right now. I'm getting distracted. Oh, God. Where do I go? I can't even run. But at least I can see where I am. And I can see other things. It's 5.52 already. This is passing service. This is the wrong way. I need to go back it. Oh, what am I doing? I'm so stupid. I'm gonna go. Oh, it shows you the gifts and stuff. The ones that you've left behind. Oh, no, these are on now. That's kind of dope, actually. I'm gonna go through this one because I know that this is the way we need to go. 5.53. This Freddy, is this gonna work? Where do I even go? Yes, okay, sweet. Listen to the tune. It's gonna be fine. Right. The entrance is through another elevator, I think. It depends where we end up from here. I can't remember the way. 554. It's so cool how you can see all the gift boxes. There's so many left. And I'm pretty sure. There's multiple endings to this as well. I mean, he's going this way. Everything looks so different with the blue filter on. Oh, let's go this way. How do I get to the entrance? I actually can't remember. Let's go this way. No, no, leave me alone for a sec. It's okay. I'm not getting too crazy here. Fine, Freddy, we can go through here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm going down. This is not where I'm supposed to go, is it? I'm panicking. 56. Oh, God, you would have thought of all the hours I put into this game, I would know where I'm going. Let's try down these stairs. Oh, we can smash those open now. I forgot about that. We'll do that later. When we come back, maybe. What's happened? What? What's happened? Hello? What the heck was that? Okay. Hear me out. I'm just gonna run as child. I don't need to run with Freddy, I don't think. And I feel like I'm gonna be faster. So I can sprint. I'm just gonna go. Turn this on and go. I think... What's the best way? Okay, I'm back in here. I have already wasted too much time. I'm go out this way. Um, this way. No moon. Don't get me. Please don't get me. I don't know if I can use the camera on him either. Oh god, where is the way from here? 
This way, maybe. I can't remember this. It was so long ago. So long ago. I'm just going to follow the path and see what happens. 57. Where am I now? Where am I now? Where am I now? I need to get in the elevator. Okay, we're close. Oh, oh God. Where is he? I don't know if I've got time. No, get away from me. I need to get to the elevator as quickly as possible. No! Oh God, he's right there. He's right there. Oh, he's getting quicker. I've got two minutes. Jeez. I literally need to get into this elevator. Come on. I just need to get in. Quick. Hey, little man. Yeah. Do you know what time it is? Six. The doors are open. I'm going. Why are you still here? You plan on moving in or you just want to go? No. Maybe join the internship program. Would make a great security guard. Gregory, I think you deserve a reward. Go check the main stage. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm probably dead anyway, right? Quick! Run, go, as fast as you can. No, the exit's right there. Please don't get me. The exit's right there. No! No! I know the route now. I know it. I'm out of here. No, I'm going. I've been working up to this moment. I can do it. I can do it! Not now. Not now! Freddy! Yes! Let's open! Let's go! No. I cannot exit this facility. Of course you can! Come on! We can hide you somewhere! Without a recharge station, my systems would shut down within an hour. It is a safety precaution. It is... my design. No! This is where I must stay. Do not return. It will never... Safe. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I will miss you. Freddy, if I leave now, nothing will change, will it? There will be more disappearances. Yes, I he know. Knows. He knows what this place is like, Freddy. Gregory, you have a choice to make. The door is open and you can go. Or... You can continue to investigate the secrets of the pizza plex. I feel there is something else going on besides Fanny. What? Oh, why did I have to give me this choice? Save stations will no longer be available if you stay. If Gregory is caught, it is game over. She said to check the main stage. And I kind of want to do that. But I also want to leave, because I know there's multiple endings. I feel like there's more endings in this as well. That's interesting that he says besides Vanny, too. Um, okay, here's the plan. I know there's multiple endings to this game. For this one, I'm going to hit leave, and then stay tuned for the next video where we are going to try other endings and other things. There's so many things I want to try. We need to go to the main stage, do the arcade machines, and try and do and find pretty much everything before we do the final upgrade on Freddy. And then we can stay as well, but save stations will no longer be available. Let's hit leave and see what the escape ending is, and then we'll come back to it. Oh, oh it's a comic book. I was not expecting this. Hold up. That's me. Well, I am tearing it up with them new running shoes. Later. Near the alley of poisonous gas. Wait. I'm just... What? Oh, look. Local residents continue to disappear. It's creepy.
She found me anyway? What a pleasant ending. <laughs> I mean, pleasant ending for the music. The rest? I feel like we've got the unfinished worst ending. <laughs> Was this the worst ending to Five Nights of Freddy's Scary Breach? Possibly. But stay tuned for the next video, which will hopefully be tomorrow. I'll see how long it takes me to do everything, but I want to find the other endings. I don't know how many there are, but I'm going to go in and just do extra stuff. Like I said, the arcade machines, the main stage, there you go. That is the leave ending, I guess we'll call it, for Security Breach. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a like for the ending as well. Make sure you hit subscribe, otherwise you're going to miss the other endings. This was fun. Thanks for joining me. See ya. By now, you have probably heard of the company called Groupon, even though it started only three years ago as a side project of a quirky young Midwesterner. What he did was reinvent the coupon, turning it into a digital tool for bargain hunting at your neighborhood stores. The company took off almost overnight. It's global now, raking in hundreds of millions of dollars a month. Wall Street took notice. This past November, Groupon had the biggest initial public stock offering, or IPO, of any internet company since Google. The company's worth jumped to an unexpected $18 billion on the first day of trading. And yet, Groupon is the subject of a fierce debate. Will it revolutionize how we shop in the long run, or just end up a passing fad? The answer depends in part on the 31-year-old who came up with the idea, Groupon's founder and CEO, Andrew Mason. The story will continue in a moment. What is a Groupon? A Groupon is essentially a voucher that's uh, that's worth money that you can take into a business and use like cash. When you, when you subscribe and you get these emails every day, it's a great way to uh, to explore your city and get uh, and, and find out about really cool little things to do. The deals are at least 50% off. So for example, a $40 meal for a $20 coupon or a half off hot air balloon ride. Groupon has 150 million subscribers who get a daily email with deal offers from local businesses. Is it usually for something that we don't really need? It could be. Sometimes it, it's it's for a restaurant or a massage or yeah, that kind uh, of stuff. a session in a sensory deprivation tank, but sometimes it's for a hardware store, dry cleaning. The company began in 2008 at the height of the recession when everyone was looking for a bargain, and then it grew so quickly, so fast, it took everyone by surprise, including Andrew Mason. Once we started Groupon, the uh, success was intoxicating, and it was it, it, it was just this rocket ship ride that you couldn't let go, but you didn't want to let go either. Not only did Mason launch a retail revolution, he brought the company to a place where, in this economy, they hire up to 150 new employees a week. How many people do work for Groupon? Uh, we, across all 46 countries that we're in, we have about 10,000 people. Groupon's headquarters in Chicago is part tech startup, part old-fashioned call center. Hi, this is Sadie Kong with Groupon. And unlike most dot-com rocket ships, Groupon looks like a real business. Where most websites rely on algorithms, Groupon relies on actual human beings. And did you want to go ahead with the 25 or 50 for the Manny Petty? What these human beings, the salespeople, do is think up deal ideas, then convince local merchants to offer them at half price. So what we're going to do is actually customize a deal specifically to you. Groupon has found out by trial and error how to present its deals. It used to be male and female subscribers got the same emails every day. Now Groupon is tailoring its offers by age and gender. Yeah, it turns out that guys don't like deals on laser hair removal or, um, <laughs> or pole dancing lessons. The Brazilian bikini waxes. Yeah. Yeah. The merchants don't necessarily make money. The offers are half price to begin with, and Groupon
and takes nearly 50% of that. But it's a marketing tool that gets lots of people in the door. When the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago ran a group on, 14,000 people showed up. It's a group coupon, a groupon. What you did was you took a spam business, mm -hmm. a junk mail business, and somehow made it entertaining and cool. We do realize that we're sending people an email every single day, and that could get annoying. So there's got to be something else there that keeps you engaged and keeps you from unsubscribing. That something is the absurdist humor in the Daily Deal write-ups. 400 writers and editors, more than most newsrooms, come up with hundreds of these pitches a day with twists of phrases and logic. Here's one for a dentist. Humans develop smiles as a way to deflect predators in the wild and former bosses in the grocery store. The loopy write-ups give Groupon its personality, which seems to seep down from the very top. Andrew Mason is known as a little wacky himself. As a gag, his executive washroom is a porta potty. And look at this. Can you name another CEO with a demo on YouTube? And what is your, you're sitting around in front of a Christmas tree in your skivvies. Doing yoga? Um, no, it's a huge problem. The problem is that he now runs a huge company, and his urge to be goofy makes him one of the most unlikely corporate CEOs you'll ever meet. I think if there's any difference be between me and, uh, and, a, and a traditional CEO, it's that I, I've been unwilling to change myself or, 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 or shape my personality around what's expected. So here's a question that we hear a lot. Is Andrew Mason ready to be a CEO? Am I as experienced or mature or smart as other CEOs? A big companies are worth as much as yours. Yes, no, probably not. But there's something I think very useful about having a founder as the, as the CEO. According to Forbes magazine, it's so useful, Groupon is the fastest growing company ever. Enter their offices and there's the Forbes cover, but it's surrounded by other covers of high-tech has-beens, as if they're asking themselves, could we be the next to fall by the wayside? It's a good question. The greatest challenge to their business is that it's unclear that it's defensible. Andrew Ross Sorkin, financial columnist for the New York Times and host at CNBC, says the biggest downside is how easy the model is to replicate. There are 500 other competitors out there that all want to do and be Groupon. Amazon is getting into this business. Others are getting Google. into this business. Google is getting Giants. into this business. But what Andrew Mason will tell you is that so far, they've killed them all off. So far. So far, they have spent an extraordinary amount of money to market their business so that they've been able to beat back a lot of the competition. Right. The question is, if you're spending as much money as they are, whether they, you can actually create a profit long term. That's giving rise to doubts about the very sustainability of the company. For one, they spend more money than they take in on such things as wooing their subscribers. And it's expensive to employ 10,000 people. By contrast, Facebook has less than 3,000. At the moment, they have yet to turn a profit. They've yet to turn a profit at all. At all. Hi, thanks for calling Groupon. This is Bethany. How can I help you? Add to that horror stories from merchants, like the baker who made 102,000 cupcakes for all the Groupon buyers. But with the steep markdowns, she lost $20,000. And businesses complain Groupon customers come once and never want to pay full price again. Oh, okay, I'm sorry about that. But Mason was still the new boy wonder until this summer, when he decided to make Groupon a publicly traded company, and it had to open its book. 
themselves. What raised eyebrows were the accounting tricks that made their huge marketing costs disappear on paper. And they also double counted how much money they were bringing in. So on their books, they made $60 million in 2010, when in reality they lost $420 million. Analysts began calling Groupon unviable, a Ponzi scheme, and wondered if any grown-ups were minding the store. There are things we would have done differently and we would have loved to avoid. But it really hurt you. It looked as though something was fishy. I, I, you know, I think the big thing about Groupon is just people, people have never seen anything grow quite so fast. And that made people want to dig in and, uh, and, and, and be skeptical. And, uh, yeah, but you contributed to it. You didn't it put the honest revenue figure down. You left out marketing costs. It just, it yeah. seemed like a, a Bush League mistake. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's fair to say that it wasn't an honest revenue, uh, revenue figure. And a, a, a Bush League mistake that, that uh, you know, our auditors looked at and, and thought was like, smart people can get this stuff wrong. We're inventing a new industry. Like if we were smart, evil people, we would be more cunning and, um, and, and subtle in our, in our evil ways, you know? At the time, Mason couldn't address the mounting criticism because companies are prohibited from giving interviews in the lead up to going public. But his impatience drove him to do something that drew the wrath of the regulators. He answered the criticisms in an internal memo to his 10,000 employees, and sure enough, it leaked. Here are some of the adjectives that were used to describe you when that memo leaked. Thin-skinned, impetuous, and childish. Look, I'm not going to pretend like it's been fun uh, to, to sit here and have something that we've poured our hearts into over the last three years and um, and see it criticized while we have our mouths taped shut. It's kind of like we, we've now been hazed, you know? We've now, we're like Wolverine and our skin has been melted off. We've had adamantium fused under our bones and it's made the culture stronger as a result. I'm not sure what that means. The Groupon ended up having a wildly successful opening day trading on NASDAQ as a public company. On the first trading day, your personal worth jumped to $1.2 billion. Are you checking the stock price every minute? <laughs> um, I, said, come on, how often? I, I checked it once uh, yesterday afternoon, and then I felt dirty, and, and I haven't checked it again since. <laughs> Do you know? No, I don't. Now I want to know. How's it going? Uh, well, it's been zigzagging just above and below the initial trading price. You just hit buy? Buy. I bought it. Mason continues to expand the company. Confirm. He shows me how he's moving deals onto mobile devices. Oh, I want to get pinboard. But the questions remain. Will Groupon become part of our lives, like Google and Amazon? Or will it be relegated to the dot-com dustbin? And will the founder have to tone it down? I saw you at NASDAQ, I guess it was, and there you were in this Armani kind of suit <laughs> and a tie. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what's an Armani type of suit? What's a nice suit, an expensive suit. suit. Okay. Is that the first tie you ever owned? Do you even own the tie? Did you rent the tie? No, I own over four ties. Yeah. Did you think about showing up in a suit and tie for 60 minutes? Um, no, I asked, uh, I, I asked if I should. And? And they said, they said that I shouldn't. So maybe, you know what, maybe I am changing, because I might have not asked before. <laughs> Fox 2's Jessica Duknack joins us live now. And Jessica, was this supposed to be a joke? Because it's not funny. It, not at all. And again, it, it compares the former president of the United States, Barack Obama, to a primate. This picture was sent to us anonymously. And I got to tell you, the first time I saw it, I couldn't believe that a teacher actually thought that this was okay to assign to her high school biology class. Take a look. 
Roper School, the oldest K-12 school for gifted children in the country, priding themselves on diversity and an alternative education, costing upwards of $30,000 a year. Part of that curriculum included this worksheet, passed out assigned in a high school biology class earlier this month in Birmingham. It's titled An Introduction to Primates and instructs students to pick from a gallery of photos labeled Apes, Monkeys, and Lemurs. Among the photos, a picture of former President Barack Obama, the person who sent this to Fox to anonymously appalled at the racist messaging coming from a teacher. Tuesday, a spokesperson for Roper School sent us this statement with little context about the worksheet. The same day, the head of the school sent parents a letter explaining the worksheet was taken from a highly regarded university website and assigned in a high school classroom. The letter said in part, quote, on behalf of Roper School's leadership, I would like to acknowledge the disturbing racial offense contained in this worksheet and sincerely regret its use and the harm it has caused, end quote. They're offering counseling to students who were affected by this and say they'll continue training staff to educate on racial bias in the classroom. We, of course, had a lot of questions for the school the last couple of days. They admittedly have been a bit cryptic, but we did ask, what about any disciplinary action against this teacher? They didn't address whether she would be fired or any disciplinary action would be taken, but did say that the teacher admitted her mistake and understands it. So maybe more to come on this. We'll keep pressing uh, the Rover School there in Birmingham. Reporting live. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.